It started as a two-year pilot program in 2020 as a way to cut down on crime. And now Cleveland wants to know just how effective shot spotter technology is. Just recently, the Cleveland Board of Control approved a contract with Cleveland State University to research the effectiveness of those surveillance cameras. And we want to know, what will it look like? Remy Murray has the answer. Safety is everything. No one wants to go any place that they wouldn't feel safe. For the last 17 years, New Life Fitness Camp has been a staple in Cleveland's Waterloo Arts District, promoting community, health, and fitness. We're adding a contribution to the community by providing an outlet for something that's healthy. But beyond that, Maisha Wilson also wants her members to feel safe. That's why she says she supports the city's plan to soon evaluate and expand ShotSpotter throughout communities. If it's just one additional element to help patrons want to frequent the area, knowing that they feel like it's secure, then let's do it. That research will take place right in our backyards at Cleveland State University. The Cleveland Board of Control recently approved a contract with the university to do research on the effectiveness of those surveillance cameras. We want to believe that this can make our community safer, but if it is just giving us a feeling of safety, that's very different from actually making us safer. Cleveland's 12th District Councilwoman Rebecca Mauer tells me she put forth an amendment for CSU to do research after organizations like the American Civil Liberties Union of Ohio question the effectiveness of shot spotter. Part of the problem though I think is is that you have governments and other people out there adopting and using this technology with no real clue as to whether it's effective or whether it's going to change anything positively. But Maurer is hopeful this research will provide some clarity. Before we expand it again or invest more millions of dollars, we'll have a real sense from experts here in our own community. Co-principal investigator Stephanie Kent says they'll potentially conduct focus groups and interviews between residents and police to look at two things how ShotSpotter can effectively and efficiently reduce violence, and how community trust with the police can be built. Kent says investigators will also use ShotSpotter data to compare with other crime points and police activity within local neighborhoods. Over the next 24 months, we're desperately going to need residents' feedback in those areas in order to evaluate this aspect of the technology. In Cleveland, Remy Murray, News 5.